Hello everybody, Kent here from Kent's Garage Gym. Let's get into another review that I have. It's one of the most popular books in bodybuilding, Arnold's Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. So right off the bat, it's a very thick book. It's like almost 800 pages. Mine snapped in half. If you use yours a whole lot, it probably will as well. What happened with mine is it fell off a shelf, I guess. My kid probably was playing around with the shelf and uh, this fell off, hit the ground and snapped in half. So. As far as the material of the book, it's just so thick and so heavy that, <laughs> that it's not super stable. So right off the bat, I have to say that it's something that I recommend and do not recommend. Um, the reason that I recommend it is because there is good stuff inside, but I do not recommend it because there's also impractical stuff inside, and it's very thick. You can find this same information probably in several other books that are easier reads. Okay, so book one right off the bat is the introduction to bodybuilding that starts out with the history of bodybuilding. And basically the history is people were strong, they were freaks, they were circus shows, then later on it got more popular, people started accepting it. Uh, guys found out about steroids, they got bigger and bigger, then they went into competition. That's basically it. And it shows all of the guys that were the famous uh, stepping stones to what now has become the popular form of bodybuilding. So book number two and three is probably where you're going to be spending most of your time. Book number two talks about the weight training principles. It will teach you about supersets, trisets, giant sets, drop sets, how to work out with heavy weights, light weights uh, to achieve whatever goal that you have. And it's going to have workout plans like level one workout plan, level two workout plan, or at least suggested plans anyway. Um, book number three is going to have a lot of pictures and it's going to talk about the body parts that you're working and the exercises that work each body part. This is probably one of the most practical parts of the book and it's the part that I enjoyed the most is those two right there. Book number four is also to me personally one of the most impractical parts of the book. Once again it's talking about bodybuilding shows and posing and I guess as an average guy, uh, and I think that the majority of the buyers of this book are just average guys that want to work out and get a little bigger, uh, kind of like the guys in this book, but as an average guy, I look at the posing part and I go, I don't really need this. I'm not, gonna, <laughs> I'm not really going to do posing shows, um, but uh, I guess it's kind of nice information if you want to do that. Book number five is something that I am super, super unsatisfied with. It is the nutrition section. And rather than giving real practical points to nutrition, basically all that he does is he says, eat one gram of protein per body pound. Here's uh, an example of some meals that I had throughout the day. And then a whole lot of scientific uh, research and a whole lot of technical definitions on what this word means and what that word means, what this word means, that word means, and, and everything. And it's just, man, it, uh, it is a huge, huge read. The, the part that I'm disappointed about the most is um, it doesn't really stress the nutrition aspect of the book. Um, it, it makes it really long, really fluffy, really impractical. And there's a lot that it doesn't do. It doesn't say, here's where you are, here's a formula for you, here's what you need to do if you're trying to cut, maintain, or bulk. I love that. I love having some kind of personalized, uh, personalized formula. And this book just didn't really do that. Another thing that it didn't do is it, it did not talk about steroid usage, uh, at least not in great detail. I think it said it's unhealthy for you, it makes you bigger, and that's about it. But it, I, what I really wish that it would have said is something like Arnold started with this much dosage when he was 15 years old and he increased this much and this much and here's what a steroid cycle looks like and here's the pros and the cons of steroids and here's what's possible with steroids and not possible with steroids. Uh, this is what you can achieve and what you can't achieve with steroids. That's the kind of stuff that I wish that I would have gotten out of this book because obviously by the time he was 19 years old it shows a picture of him and he was jacked. So he's been doing steroids at that time for two or three years at least. Um, and, but it doesn't really talk much about that. It doesn't talk about uh, the steroids as much as I want it to because I guess it's a taboo and maybe a legal subject in some countries or whatever. 
So that's my opinion about the book. It's great for the workout plan. It's great for the uh, the body part and actual exercise section, but the rest of it is super, super thick. And for those reasons, I'm out.